All right, today's video is all about GZAP and it was inspired actually by this website where you can see on the homepage, once you scroll on the page, there are some specific sections that actually shrink and grow as you scroll up and down on the page. And I think that is such a cool little thing to add to a website that brings a little bit of attention to what information is contained in those sections. And I think it's a very nice add-on to a website so let's get into it all right i know what you're gonna say probably and i thought the same thing elementor has this option for us to some extent it's a native option where you have motion effects and you can turn the motion effects uh, on scroll effects so that the section scales so as you can see i have a section here and it's it uses the motion effects that are native to elementor and as you can see i have the scrolling effect turned on and i have added the scale option scale down basically at the speed of minus four and uh, viewport zero to 77 okay this is basically you can adjust this according to your own needs and page layout let's see how this works let's have a look and as you can see as we scroll it does grow but it doesn't grow as i want it to grow it it this option is not flexible it's not adjustable it's not customizable that was the word on the other hand gzap is so it is up to you what you choose to use if you prefer this option that is native to elementor go for it but i am giving you another option i'm just saying this in case anybody comes for me in the comments so let's get started all right so i am going to be adding a new section here and i am going to set it direction vertical this is not important it, it, it is up to you what you add inside and that's how you are going to arrange your layout so i'm going to set this container to full width and a minimum height of 65 65 vh all right so i am also going to give this a color and let's just go with something that we have in here i'm gonna go with the one that you have seen in the video i am going to give this a border radius 60. now nah, let's just keep it at 30. and let's go back to our layout i'm gonna justify the content in, in the center and the align, alignment of the items no i'll keep it start and i will also give it a padding of a hundred whoops a hundred padding all around okay i'm just gonna drop a few elements in here so you can see how things would look on the page on the section once the section shrinks and grows so i want to add some images i am going to set this to horizontal and i'm gonna drop a few images in here and let me just duplicate and duplicate all right i'm just gonna choose some random images nothing too fancy nothing too crazy and let's go with another one another one okay that one okay fine i am not gonna style anything let me just add a heading in here not in here where are you my heading I'm on the heading outside. Let me just close this. This is so annoying when it happens, but it is what it is. All right, let's style it. Set it to white. And let's see. Okay, I'm gonna leave it to man rope. Set the the size to three point. Let's say four. Four hundred. And let me just give this a custom width of let's say 55 and i'm gonna leave it at this so we can move on all right let's publish and let's basically add a class so our class will be this one and it's called shrink grow section i already have this set up in the code that's why i'm using it but you can use your own just make sure that you change this class in the code otherwise it will not work obviously so now that we have this set up we can add our code so i already have it added on the page i will just turn it on basically and 
you will see nothing in the preview but you will see it in, once you publish the, your project your page and you will preview it in the browser all right there are a few things happening here i will basically turn this off here comment it out this is the part that you need the second part is for another section. Basically, you would need to add this for each section. Honestly, I would say do not overdo it with this effect. There's no point for that. So what you need to do in the code is basically add this class here. So it's the class that you have given your section. It is this one here. So make sure that if you don't use this class and you use your own class, make sure that that class is added in here. All right. So what you want to delete from here, you will not need this on the live website, is basically the markers. The markers are just for you to know where the, the scroll starts and where the scroll ends. And let's just have a look. So as we scroll, as you can see, This grows and grows and basically it, it ends here because we set the parameter to this size. I don't want it to go from side to side, but you can do that actually if you want. So as you can see, it starts small-ish and as you scroll, it continues to grow and grow until a certain point. And it ends basically here. So it starts here at this point point as you can see we have the marker here and it keeps going and going and going and going and going all right let's go back to our code there are another two things that you can change here it's basically the start point of your crawling effect and the end point and i would start with this size here but if you don't like it you can change it to let's say 300 let's publish and let's see what happens at this start point let's go back and as you can see the animation takes a little bit more time to take effect still pretty cool and honestly this animation this effect is very contingent on the size of your section so if your section is larger it's taller then you would go more in minus in this case i think this is pretty okay and we could leave it at this and it ends at 300 and at center basically once it reaches the center of your viewport then the animation stops and let's go and change this to see what happens let me publish it and let me see all right let's start again And as you can see, the end marker is here. So the animation keeps going and going and going until the marker and reaches this point. And to be honest, I think I prefer the other version and I will switch to 300, but you can play with this around and see whatever suits your use case. All right, so this is another important thing. And this is again, up to you and how you want to customize it so this is the part of the code that basically scales from small to large your section so the scale of 0 0.4 obviously is the smallest and the scale from 0 to 90 is the largest and this is basically to say 40 percent of your viewport and this is 90 percent of your viewport and let's change this to one if you change it to one, it should go from one side to the other once it reaches the end of the scroll animation. So let's see. And as you can see, it keeps growing and growing and growing until it reaches the sides of your viewport, both sides of your viewport. And honestly, I'm not a fan of it. I, I would go maybe until here, not higher than this, because it's much nicer in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to go back to 090. And of course, you can change this as well, this value. And you can start bigger. Let's go to, let's go to 70. This is a bit more dramatic in, in, in the sense that it starts pretty big and it just goes until 90%. So 70 to 90% of your viewport. As you can see, it's already big. 
and it keeps growing actually it's not bad as i said it depends on your use case and what you're going for and if you want it a little bit more subtle or a little bit more dramatic and of course don't forget to add your class here important because otherwise it's not gonna work and if you're wondering if this works on mobile devices it does so go ahead and try it out and let me know if you need help if this worked for you how you're gonna use it leave it all in the comments below if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye